We gotta have a muffler on the back of the truck. How about new? <laughs> What's going on guys? So if you've been around the channel for any amount of time, you know that I don't typically run mufflers on my trucks. But in today's video, we're going to have a fun little side-by-side -side comparison between straight pipe and cherry bomb glass packs. There we go. Right there it is. I actually picked up two of these bad boys, and I'm sure I probably clickbaited a little bit because even though I thought I lived in the heartbeat of freedom, <laughs> apparently California's working its way down because I got pulled over for not having a muffler on my truck, which... It's a weird story, I'll tell it later. Instead of swapping over to our new exhaust setup, which I actually have in, I've had for a while, I figured we'd have a little fun with this setup and see if we can make this truck sound like I actually want it to, because at idle, it sounds great, I love it, but in those mid-throttle accelerations can be a little clapped out, and so I figured, you know what, we'll try one of these, actually two of them, they're $23 a pop, can't beat that. I'm gonna go ahead and go out and get some clips. We're gonna jump straight into cutting this exhaust, Throwing these babies in there, seeing what she sounds like. Okay, yeah, she went totally floppy. <laughs> oh, that's what I was worried about. Them summer guns. I was thinking that that was supposed to be two and a half, and they actually put two and a quarter on here. They did. Guys, a couple different auto zones later, we are back with a much larger glass pack, the 23 inch versus the original eight inch. This is the two and a half inch. This is the two and a quarter, which I had no clue that my exhaust is two and a quarter instead of two and a half. But either way, this should actually have a bigger impact. So I ain't that mad about it. It'd be all right. So. Let's go ahead and start putting all of our little couplers on and uh, get this bolted back up. You said about 19 inches, so we're gonna put it right there and just send it. Boom. There we go, ow. She's on there. Now the big question, <laughs> is the other one gonna fit on here without hitting this? She's on there, boys. And we're not touching. Let's go ahead and throw all of our clamps on. Boom, just like that. Our cherry bombs are in place. Not the prettiest thing. Well, it's time to crank this thing up and see how she sounds. Oh my gosh. It's so much different. actually a lot quieter but it sounds good oh dude I'm excited I'm ready to hear how this thing sounds gotta give her a little a little tappy tap here we got to just to see for it to get a little bit cooler later in the day. Hopefully she still spits flames. We'll see.
course, we got to add the sticker to the windshield banner. Boom. Just like that. Looks beautiful. Love it. But that's going to be about it, guys. So y'all definitely comment down below and let me know which way you preferred with the straight pipe or with the glass packs. Um, there's definitely a noticeable difference for sure. Toned it down quite a bit and gave it a little bit different tone. Uh, but however, I being the really loud exhaust kind of person, I prefer it before. Um, now the tone, that's up for debate, but the loudness, I already kind of miss how loud it was, which like I said, if driven like not an idiot, is not over the top. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing like, oh, you should get in trouble, which we're fixing to tell the whole story of, you know, getting pulled over and everything. But um, yeah, it definitely did its job. I wish we could have put those eight inch because I think that would have been about perfect. I don't think we would have lost as much volume, but got some of that tone. Fortunately, I didn't want to pinch those two and a half inch down. I figured it would probably leak really bad and sound terrible. So had to go pick up the other ones, which the only ones they have for the two and a quarter is the 23 inch long ones. So, uh, yeah, but it was a fun little exhaust video. I always love doing exhaust videos. I'm not sure if now I want to jump straight to the new setup, rock this one for a while, or do y'all have a muffler that you would like to hear on here while we're playing around with it? I'm not against, you know, getting something else. I don't know what else would be louder. It's got to be something that can be clipped in. I'm not going to go get it welded all that in and everything like that. But, um, if there is a muffler that you'd like to hear on here that we can bolt in, I'll definitely do it. So drop, drop a comment for sure. Let me know. But yeah, that's about it for the truck. Sounds great. First video of it spitting flames. Stoked on that. And uh, just another video with Chomper. I freaking love this truck. But I guess with all that rambling, for those that actually want to hear the story about getting pulled over, let's jump into that. So it's like a million degrees, but I'm just going to ramble off. So basically, it had been a long weekend having all of Lauren's family down. And this actually happened uh, right after the truck meet the day after. Um, we were headed back home after being exhausted and having a whole lake day for like the fourth day in a row and just entertaining family. And we get out to the main road and there's two state troopers sitting at the road. Obviously I see them. Thankfully it's hot. I have my windows rolled down, so I'm good for 10. But as soon as I pull out on the main road, the state trooper flicks his lights on. So immediately I'm like, okay, I'm getting pulled over for something. Who knows? I go ahead and start easing over. Well, Lauren is right behind me and she goes ahead and pulls over. So apparently I didn't see this. I pull out, Lauren pulls up right behind me, the car across the street apparently sees the state troopers and then they go into complete, I can't drive freak out mode. So they pull halfway in the road and then wave Lauren on. So she kind of rolls through the stop sign. Yes, I know, they, they, whatever. So he was technically pulling her over. And so he pulled her over for running the stop sign as well as having too dark a tent. He talks to her and then he come up, comes up to me and he asked if I had a muffler on the truck, which never in my life would I have expected he was going to say that. Because I had the truck turned off and everything. I was very mindful when I was taking off that I was being quiet. It's crazy. But I guess he couldn't just say, hey, I wasn't trying to pull you over. I was trying to pull them over. He had to say something to me, right? Anyways, Chomper's looking absolutely stunning out here. Oh, it's blazing hot. I'm about to, I'm sweating through my shirt right now. I'm, I'm probably like I'm about to die. But anyways, uh, that's going to be a wrap. So with that said, hopefully you did enjoy. Comment down below. Let me know. We'll see y'all in the next one. All right, we got a boatload of turkeys out on the field. This is going to be turkey versus two-step. Let's see what they do. Nothing? Nothing? Yep. It's too quiet, boys. I made her too quiet.